No. It's crisp. Set up shot in a cement factory. Yeah. It is sick. I love it. Like, this is the best community I've ever made. But like, moving into that cement place is probably one of the best decisions I've ever made in this game. Basically, the the thing that was supposed to make that game like really replayable is just like, whenever you get your legacy packs, it's basically yeah. like you beat the game and you unlock a legacy pack, and then you have a, a little bonus whenever you start another game, and you can choose two of the legacy packs from any campaign you've beaten, and you can bring characters from your previous civilizations over. Oh, damn. Um, but on the hardest difficulty, you don't get to choose your legacy packs. You just start all that shit from scratch. Uh, and then you can bring your characters over. Uh, they don't punish <laughs> they'll you. They'll probably that. die. <laughs> yeah, they'll probably die, so it's like. Hmm. Okay. Back in tomorrow morning to get a TB test read. A what test? TB. Tuberculosis. Ah. Tuberculosis. Literally, I'm just, I gather supplies, make sure everything's good at my base, head out, destroy the play cart, come back. That's literally what I'm doing. Jesus. Like, I'm so fucking well set up at this point. That it's just, hey, maintain your resources, go destroy the play cart, come back home. The problem I have is finding the rest of it. When I played it, I got myself well set off, and then I was like, I know what I need to do. Uh, and I went to every tower to survey shit from in just like one go. Yeah. So I knew where everything was located, and then I basically just did what you were doing while going after play carts, and I knew where they all were. How many plague hearts are there? Because uh, I'm pretty sure they can be different. Like also, like depending on county like, and per game. I think it's like 
12 to 20 is kind of the range. It varies, I think. Yeah. I gotta say, having the ability to make pipe bombs is fucking broke. Uh, the uh, whistling bombs are probably the most broke. Because zombies will run towards them. So basically, you can put like. You can. You also have like self detonating ones you can get. Yeah. So like basically, what you can do is you just set down like three and then self detonate them all at once and immediately destroy a plague art. Easy. Yeah, right now it's taking me about five to six pipe bombs to destroy a fucking play cart. And it's literally Yeah, the, the explosive yeah, boxes, it's literally I just think. Fucking, you toss them all in and they all detonate at the same time, play cart goes down. It's ridiculous. Ah, no, I almost made it to the health potion. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Fucking wizards and bullshit. So, you like Pokemon Go, right? Have you tried the new Harry Potter game? Um, yes and no. I tried it for about three Didn't seconds. Didn't like it? It's not fast loading. It's forever. Have you also seen the trailer for, like, the new Pokemon Trainer game? Yes, I have. That I've been ready for. I like that. There's gotta be another fucking plague cart in this town. There has to be. There's too many plague zombies walking around for there not to be. Basically, just getting all the spells I can in this stupid fucking game. What game is it? It's called um, Wizard of Legend. It's free with Game Pass.
Mary. You gotta get rid of infestations or play card. Good repair, no unexpected break. Fuck yourself, babe. The one person I've been like, I am seriously considering getting rid of you. What's the matter? She starts fights! Yeah, but once you get your shit up after a certain point, it, it's almost irrelevant. Like your morale. Yeah. Like, I've got electric light and all kinds of shit going on. Moving into that cement factory was the best decision I've ever made in this fucking game. Because it literally it has a backup generator. So it's a generator that makes little to no noise. That powers the entire facility. Pushin! Jesus.
fucking cyclopses. Start making rounds on survey point. Let's find all those fucking fly parts. Fuck those fucking fly parts. Fuck up! Just assume I'm gonna do stuff for them, even when I like haven't done anything for them in the past. Yeah, there's not enough of a reward for you to actually go about like helping other communities. It's kind of kind of different, you know. Yeah, it's one of the things. That, like, I try. I help the physicians because they give you allied medical help, which I was like, that's a good enough reason to help. But like, there's these groups of scattered survivors, and they're just like, like I haven't done anything for them at all, like before this. Like I, I haven't even clicked on the mission. Like I haven't even selected the mission, and I'm just like, hey, remember that thing we talked about? And I'm like, we didn't talk about anything. You just said you needed help. I didn't say I was gonna help you. Yeah. Not to mention, like, with the way that game, like, has you, like, save time and shit, there's almost no time to help them until the end of the game, and by that time, they've already been wiped out. Yeah, it just it doesn't matter to me. I just don't care. There's no fucking reason for me to care. Probably would. Probably come. I don't have incentives. Make it hard. Want to help people when there's no point. It actually to kind of punishes you for helping. It like loads In a sense. your fucking plate to where it's like, hey, you need to take care of this, and you need to take care of this, and you need to take care of this, and you need to take care. I'm like, fucking stop. <laughs> Let me fucking do what I need to do. Yeah, in this game, you can like you have like four spells you get. You get like a basic and then three special ones. You can get yeah. more in the dungeons, but you can only ever have like four equipped. And then in the dungeons, if you find more, you can equip them, but you also don't get to bring them back with you. It's a very punishing roguelike game, which is why it's couch co-op, to make it a little yeah. easier. But I'm playing solo. It is yeah. beating the shit out of me.
But like, if you get if you fill up your combo bar with your spells, you can initiate like a super spell. Yeah. That does a fuck ton of damage, and it's really nice. Damn, fuck him up. By the way, State of Decay, have you gotten a legacy ending before? Yeah, I've, I've gotten like three legacy endings. Which one did you do? Um, the Lawbringer, the Warlord, and I think the Builder. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a fuck ton of plague zombies over here. There has to be a heart somewhere over here. What the fuck? God damn it. I can't. He blocks me into it. I can't. You're telling me there's not a fucking thing over here? It's really hard to make the rounds when there's a fucking barrel underneath you. I can hear it screaming. Those fucking things. Motherfucker. Motherfuckers. Now that we're gonna be leading fuck ass central. Fuck this.
Gaia's shovel. Gaia's shovel. Well, Gaia's. Gaia. I'm making fucking mac and cheese, and nobody can stop me. Good lad. Yelling at her. <laughs> Where is she? Where is she? Where are the other drugs going? <laughs> what? What, what are you doing? Those have threatened us for too long. It's time to get rid of them. Hey, fuck yourself! Stop starting conflicts with people. Focus on getting rid of play cards. It's fine. I just like started ignoring a lot of the shit that goes on sometimes in the background of this game. Yeah. You're like, hey man. That game kind of has that whole like you've played um. What is it called? Is it Dead Rising? Yeah. Yeah. The game has a very Dead Rising appeal to, like, tasks, where, like, near the end of the game, you can start actually doing them, but in the beginning, you you might ignore a handful to all of. Like, right now, I'm just fucking all of them off, because I just don't care. There we go. Bitch, we didn't tell you we were gonna help you. You just assumed that we were gonna help you. Look, I'm out here, you talking about we don't know what to do I'm fucking fixing this damn territory. And you're gonna fucking talk to me like that? Fuck yourself. Hope you die. Hope you die. Are you excommunicating her? Not fake. It's just some fucking community. It's other some other fucking community is like, I oh, fucking you didn't help us. I don't know if we can trust you anymore. I'm like, you didn't. I didn't fucking say I was gonna help you. You just assumed that I'm gonna help you. Fuck yourself. Hope you all die. I'm out here fixing the play part situation, and you're over there going, Well, I don't really know if we can trust you anymore. Fuck yourself. 
I'm inadvertently helping your ass by not helping. So oh, shut the fuck up. I'm helping you by not helping you. Sound about right? Yeah, yeah. Cool. It's like <laughs> they, they call over there like, hey man, we need a portable cooler. I'm like, fuck yourself. <laughs> I need a water cooler. Fuck off! Make one. Ass bag. I'm looking for play cards. I'm killing zombos so that you don't have to fucking worry about them anymore and you're concerned about a fucking water cooler? I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sick of these jackasses. Oh my god, dude, it gets so bad near the end of the game. It got so bad for me that I ignored them so much that literally all groups um, just died off or left. And then the games uh, on on the uh, Lawbringer, no, no, it wasn't the Lawbringer, it was the Warlord ending. You have to have yeah. groups for the ending. So yeah. the game just generated like five new groups that were a little, that they were like, they're, they're doing shit behind the scene. Uh, we gotta take them out. We need to know if they're our allies or not. But since I had never helped them before, um, and they were new, there wasn't a connection, and I killed off almost every one of them. Impressive. That is the only time in the entirety of it where it actually kind of punished me for not helping. Every yeah, other fucking like, ending, not really. My the fucking ending that I'm going for is we need to put this on ourselves. Like that's Warlord. No, it's not. Building. What I'm doing with Builder is like, the, the idea behind the Builder ending is we can help other people, but we really need to focus on maintaining ourselves before we do anything first. The Builder ending actually makes like you going to other areas and starting up shit kind of canon because I guess the game kind of wants you to do the Builder ending first because it's like let's go to other zones and help them out now that we've gotten our shit fixed or something like that. That the Builder or the Lawbringer is like that. I can't remember which one. I've kind of liked the Builder, the Builder plot so far. It's just like we can help other people, but we need to get ourselves in place before we do. And I agree with that. Like, yes, we do need to help people, that is, that is a thing that we need to do, but we can't just be fucking throwing our dicks at the wall without a fucking... without a suitable base and, like, a good setup first. And I gotta say, the sniper tower that comes with the builder leader, probably the best thing in the game. Fuck yourself, Andre. I'll kill you. Fuck. <laughs> I'm getting sick and tired of hearing these fucking people go. Who told me you ever heard forgot about their fucking boyfriend? Like, no. Yes, I've absolutely forgotten. I'm just like, fuck all, man. You know, fuck those play guards. They can do what they want. They're not bothering anybody. They're just out there fucking up the entire goddamn economy and shit. Like, who gives a fuck? Right? <laughs> fuck you, <yourself>. son. <laughs> <laughs> pissed off. Turn you know the dude who's... At me. You know the dude, I think, is it like Joe Rogan? Is that his name is? The one who's yes. like, prove me wrong or whatever? I don't he, think that's Joe Rogan, but yes, I know who you're talking about. There, sorry, it might not be Joe Rogan, sorry. Um, I don't think it's Joe Rogan, but I, 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 you're the, I know you're wrong. The prove me wrong guy, or, wrong or whatever. <laughs> the prove me wrong guy. Is, isn't that like a perfect description for him, though? It is, that's what's funny. <laughs> um, he, he apparently lost all the monetization on his YouTube. Because one of the guys that was like Republican or whatever that he was talking to um, said a bunch of like shit that like no, it wasn't like directly attacking groups, but some of them felt like it was. So they were like, "How? Let's punish the dude whose YouTube channel it was on," because he was actually having a conversation with a guy. 
<laughs> and <laughs> and it's just like, what the fuck? Well, he did get his YouTube demonetized. It wasn't Alex Jones. Was it? Which one's Alex Jones? Alex Jones is the they put the chemical in the water and turn the like no, 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 no. It wasn't Alex Jones. I love Alex I, Jones. Actually, I, you know, there's always a chance it could be in the back of my head, you know. I love Alex too. He's fucking funny. Like, I don't give a fuck what your political stance is. That shit's funny. I know. He's like, I'm irresistible to gay men, and you're like, what? And you're like, yes, Alex. <laughs> like, no. oh. Just because I'm gay, don't <laughs> <laughs> Our friends are fucking weird. I love that quote. That is fucking hilarious. You can't tell me every other that you do, you're a liar, and that's cool. A scoundrel. <laughs> <laughs> fucking mood tonight. You weren't originally, at least, you kind of seemed out of it because you were just got back from work, but now I can say with all honesty that, yeah, you're in a pretty good fucking mood. I drank an entire Red Bull, so I think I'm awake now. Oh, did I tell you I got kicked out of Walmart the other night? Dude, did I tell you I got kicked out of Walmart like three nights ago? Did you? Why are we retarded? <laughs> uh, mine was probably a, mine was probably for a better reason than yours. I'm assuming yours is because you fought with someone. No. Like someone did something stupid and you were like you're wrong. That would be something I do, but that wasn't the case. But tell your story and I'll tell you mine. Okay, well, I tried to set up a fort in the toilet paper section, and I... Oh my four god! Hours. <laughs> of course. Less than four hours before the time. Why? <laughs> Dude, you don't understand. I do this like every month. I just go there and I see how long it takes for them to notice that I'm down here again. You think they just, like, realize which one you are, and they're like, watch that motherfucker, and then they just, like, get you the moment you start? But they see, and it's really funny. I only do it occasionally, and I always do it when there's a different person. Like, I did it that once, and like, okay, I won't do it again. And then, wait. and then I wait a while, and then I go back and I do it again. <laughs> that is fucking hysterical. I uh, no, I got kicked out of Dude, Walmart the you other don't day. Understand. I don't understand how good I had it this time. I put fucking beanbag chairs in there. I was fucking... I've seen the one where people, like, literally fucking took, like, a TV and shit. And then there's the one where they're, like, they were, like, cooking drugs in the attic and shit like that. Oh, my God. And they had, like, a fort made out of t uh, shit up upstairs. It was funny as fuck. I love doing stupid shit at Walmart. I also uh, attempted to get a girl's number, and I got a compliment out of it. She had a boyfriend, so all good. But she you were like, I didn't get way. completely denied. Now we wait. I, I got his address. I'm gonna go kill him. <laughs> she she literally was like, if I wasn't taken, I would date you. And you don't understand how good that made me feel because you don't understand what the, who this girl was. I was like, hello. <laughs> Shit, you right. And I was just in a mindset where I was like, fuck it, if I don't try, I won't get anywhere. So I did, and she was like, hey, like, I really appreciate you doing that. I have a boyfriend, though. Here she is. Uh, and she was like, but if I didn't, you'd be the good to And I was like, hell yeah. I'll check it here real quick. If you'll understand why I was like, oh, yes. You're like, hold still, let me take this picture. Uh, my friends have to know no. that I that I'm I almost so got a yes. I'm so 
Not bad looking. Very good looking. <laughs> yes, please. I attraction doesn't always work for me until I learn like their, um, you know, personalities and shit. But no, I get it completely. See, I always get called like an. I've been called an asshole for this before by one of my other friends. He's like, no, you're an asshole for doing. It. But my thing is like. I get my first impression by how they look, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I could. She's really, she's pretty, or she's cute. You don't have to be like, like I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that's like, no, I need a perfect head. I'm just like, if I look at them and I'm like, she's cute, then I'm, I'm. In. <laughs> the it's lowest I'll go like, is a. F like it, it, as long as I don't see them and I'm like, nope. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, like then, the lowest I'll go is maybe like. A four or five, but if their per if their personality is like top notch, literally, but like no, I get it. My only goal is to do better than how I look, and I'm like a three. And I'm like... <laughs> if I if I shoot above the bar, then I'm doing good. But I've been called an asshole for having that, that mindset of, well, I have to be physically attracted to... That's, that's biology, though. Like, I can't just, like, force myself to... Like, I, I can't do that. Tell, next time, next time say that, tell your friend that he's a dumpster diving... Girl. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> For it. No. Oh wait, the girl. Oh, we'll tell tell her she's a six-piece chicken with nobody. <laughs> six-piece chicken with nobody. <laughs> I you're supposed, supposed to be, to be in jail. jail. For, <laughs> yeah, and you're supposed to be dumpster diving for hands. Diving for nobody. <laughs> chicken with nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and you're supposed to be dumpster diving for hand scratching so you can be chicken with no button. You're supposed to be in jail. Yeah, and you're supposed to be dumpster diving for hand scratch, you six piece chicken with no body. Get out of my seat! <laughs> <laughs> The best insults I've ever fucking heard in my entire life. <laughs> Six piece chicken, big <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Good outlook on life, right there. And what? <laughs> oh, you what? That that and the one I came up with. That's Jesus tap dancing titty, titty fucking tarantula Christ are my favorite things. I still love singing. I bet you're left-handed, dude. <laughs> that's really good one. We got some pretty good sayings. They're dumb as shit, but damn, they're good. I want to start making like a quote, like a, a note of quotes, a quote note. A quote like death note. note. A death note. Like a shitty death note, or the kiss note, which is in a harem anime. I think you know that. <laughs> I've watched all of it, and it's some hot shit. Wow. You should have seen it's a hot saucer. <laughs> Who 
do that thing you did with the bra for him. Oh, you don't even know. It's hitting you like, blah! You got to make sure to see this, that's a half ass ass or Trying to pronounce his name. Oh, you should see this house, Tafasura. <laughs> Alright, let's see Shadow's got a gun! Oh shit, Shadow's got a gun! <laughs> Did he just cock the magazine? Shit! <laughs> he just cocked the magazine. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Literally me when I was like fucking 12 seeing the Shadow fucking video game trailer. <laughs> Actual footage of me seeing Shadow and Tom No, you don't even know where titties are at. I've seen this on the fast last year. I can throw lightning and fart thunder. <laughs> Who posted my news on Twitter? <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> I love how he says dot com. Like his dot com makes me laugh. It's always the Twitter dot com that kills me. I have seventy alternative alternative accounts. I'm here to make a PSA. Shadow the Hedgehog has a small dick. It's the size of this walnut, except way smaller. <laughs> <laughs> the size of this walnut, but way smaller. <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna taste my super ultra mega piss. I'm gonna piss on the earth, except I'm gonna go higher. That's right, I'm gonna piss on the moon. <laughs> the guys that do that shit, it's fucking hilarious. Who's seen this top ass ass room? Big Newton French fry faggots. Whoa. <laughs> what in Jesus H. Christ was that? <laughs> Jesus What the fuck did you just even. What? Think about it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Careful, that bed is close. 
Please fuck yourself. So it's not a it's useful, I guess. That is useful. Finding those fucking parts is useful. Fuck off, yeah! Suck these nuts. Stop following me, you fucking friction goblin. <laughs> fucking friction goblin? <laughs> Mary, fuck you. I watched your son die. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I literally walked in and said, I'm dead. I was like, oh, that's a big oop. So I was like. I'll end your existence. Do you, do you promise? No. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I don't care! I don't care. No! Lock some pods, right? You fuck. You fuck. Don't look at me like that. Take your bandana off, you fucking crap looking motherfucker. Why are you wearing all green? Are you green on green? Who are you? <laughs> I'm not just gay, I'm THE gay. I like that the beginning of this sentence is very, very intense. Destroy the plague heart and like the, the thing's called heart of darkness. It's like mm -hmm. the, the, the fucking quest mode is like heart of darkness. It's like destroy the plague heart at the tartan mark. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I had us in the first game. This game is basically a Avatar The Last Airbender. If you pass me Caprice. <laughs> Military is very bad at setting up roadblocks. <laughs> Why are they setting up roadblocks? That's another question. Zombies, it's fucking zombies aren't driving fucking cars. You're only Ah oh, shit, they're walking they over have. the hills? The grandmother's house we go. <laughs> <laughs> ah shit! My grandma dead. Oh my grandma dead. I guess I'll go fuck my spell.
think going for tinder and shit is not worth it. I think I should just Honestly, I've I've genuinely been like I need to find something cuz tinder's literally just people who are like I want a relationship or I want to fuck, but every time you go to either one they're like, "Ah, nah, my bio isn't right." And you're just like, then "My what bio are is you? not correct." I'm gonna beat your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Ooh, that. Fucking coward. I'm gonna beat your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch. Milk round boy. I hate you. <laughs> what? I said you rice milk round boy. Why'd you fucking hammer with your tight ass hammer, you stick? It's not even a real thing, it's just wouldn't work. That's not even a real thing. <laughs> also, Sean, I went into my settings today and I found out I didn't have you as a favorite. Ah, oh, I guess I'll fucking kill myself then. <laughs> it's okay, I didn't have anyone else's favorites too. <laughs> I was like, oh, I better change the only people these. that are my favorites are like you, Joe, Steven, and Drew. And Mac. Steven was bragging the other day, he's like, Hunter, I'm, I'm one of your only friends that hasn't fucked up. And I'm like, how do you mean? And he goes, I'm the only one who's never had audio shit. And I always include it, and I go, shit, you right? Listen here, you cowboy bebop looking <laughs> motherfucker. You long nose pick You cowboy chin bebop boy. bitch boy. You pickle chin looking pickle chin ass. Pickle ass boy, you call a green wicked ass boy. And, and Josiah is like, is that right? And I'm like, considering how I go back and check almost every one of my streams for audio quality, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was a gunshot and you're telling me, I hope nothing hurt me open this door. Ah, it's a baby with a gun. Oh, baby's got a gun. Goo goo gaga, this be a stick <laughs> <laughs> So, did you hear about the shit Netflix did with Neon Genesis Evangelion? Nope. 
Um, so they, you know how they're fixing to put the animated Cowboy Bebop on Netflix? If they haven't done it yet, I don't know if they have or haven't yet. Yeah. Um, I know they're planning yeah. to. Um, and they're, they're gonna do a live action for that as well, which might suck dick. Um... They need to use American actors for it. Yeah. Because that's the one that's like Western space styled and like I guess you could go from the fucking Three, anime, two, but the styles Yeah, no shit. No shit. It's like it's like you've gotta do it with an American actor just because like the whole like cowboy aesthetic. I'm going to chew you. I'm going it sucks to that shoot he dies in the, the end, fucking though. Head. I'm going to. Wow. You really suck. What? You know that? What? You really fucking suck. You've watched Cowboy Bebop. That no, shit's I old haven't as fuck. watched it to the end. Oh my. Sorry. I don't want to watch well, to be fair, it's open to debate. To be fair, it's open to debate. Like, they don't specifically state, but it's kind of, yeah. Kinda, yeah. It's one of those things where, like, if he died, it's still a good ending, but yeah. I'm still, like, Darling of the Franks probably had one of the weirdest and stupidest endings I've ever seen. I hate that ending. That ending, ugh. Just because I'm like, what in God's name? <laughs> were they we're in space now. Now she's giant, and her tits are the size of skyscrapers. Her tits are rockets. <laughs> I guess I'll die. And then they die in the end. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. Actually, for real. They do. They do. I'm pretty sure they do. They do. Yeah, they do. They die. Yep. They get reincarnated, though. Yeah. Not, not the best way to be reincarnated, but yeah, they get reincarnated. After brutally dying in each other's arms. Wow, Alexa, this is so sad. Play Despacito. I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna bring your fucking. Have neck. you been watching Cyanide and Happiness's new series, Purgatory? No. no. It is fucking amazing. I am in happiness makes me sad. What? Why does it make you sad? It's the most depressing comics of the week. It makes you sad. <laughs> They're fucking hilarious. So Hello, sad. Mr. and Mrs. Literal. It's like, I heard you two were having a baby, and then it goes, Yes, there's one in the oven right now, and then he smiles, and then it goes, ah! <laughs> oh. I mean, you decide I didn't have to miss the fucking comics to believe because it's actually me. <laughs> it's like all the ones that I do have to do with dogs and this is uh... <laughs> Have you ever watched their videos though? Yeah. I'm still being sad, sad comics to me and some of them have been having an easy relationship with me.
Get him, Sean. Get him. Here we go. I unlocked an auto shop! Finally, fuck! Got it. Damn, surplus store. What the fuck am I doing? Fuck you, bitch! So we ended up getting the dog uh, pills, not really pills, but like <laughs> supplements. You're drugging your dog. <laughs> I'm not drugging my dog. Uh, they're they're like treats. They're basically like very very light dog melatonin because Why? like her... think for like three seconds for me, okay? Because she's excited all the time. Cause she she gets so excited that she doesn't sleep, and that causes problems. So like we get we're trying to get her to sleep on a normal like on a normal like over a normal period of time. Like right now she's laying down. But like, that's what like my grandma uses these things for uh, her dog when he put the black on the ground. And she took like ten of them out and was like, "Hey, I want you to try these on your dog, just in general, to see if it'll help her." Just Cause they're what they are is they're anti, they're, they're de-stressing pills, like anti-anxiety shit. So like, my yeah. dog has still has separation anxiety. Mine has that terribly. So like whenever I'm out of the room or something, she panics and fucking whines and cries and shit. And then her sleep schedule gets thrown off and all that kind of stuff. So we're using these on her to see if it'll help her like ease her stress and her anxiety and just like and like I, I talked to the vet about it and they said it shouldn't it, it's not supposed to like make her like where she's asleep all the time and she's like I was like, because I still want the playful dog that I have. Like, that's the reason I got her. But I was like, there's just yeah. some times where I'm like, I'm trying to fucking sleep. Get off of me. <laughs> no, I get it. Well, hopefully things will go as planned. and I will have a slightly calmer dog. We started those today. So, that'll be an interesting thing to find out. Ah. 
I have no idea how good an auto shop is going to be, but I hope it's good. As of now, I have four more play cards. Unless I find more. Which I bet I will. But I've done a lot of scouting and I think I've got most of them. I can nearly guarantee I bet there's one in here. I bet there's one in this town. That I haven't located. But. Toasty. Burp. I work the 4th of July, but I get overtime pay. I don't think I'm doing anything for the 4th of July. I'm still gonna blow shit up. Do what? I'm still gonna blow shit up. How does that not surprise me? Because I'm American. <laughs> Are you white and pasty? You might be American. Dude, I'm pissed. Fucking Why? Trump, because of fucking Trump's tax policies, video games are gonna start costing like fucking $80. And, <laughs> and I'm like, fuck you, you old faggot. Damn dog, <laughs> fucking Oompa Loompa look. Fucking Oompa Loompa looking ass, doesn't know how fucking electronics work, fucking asshole. Bullshit, man. It's bullshit. First, he blames school shooting on fucking video games, and now he wants to fucking overly fucking tax video games so now we gotta pay like fucking eighty dollars a game like stupid as shit mm -hmm. oh do you actually agree with me on this one mm -hmm. Sweet. Mm -hmm. I just it, I I was just really pissed off and like you know, there were rumors about it way back when, but like, now it's like actually a thing that is most likely gonna happen, and I, uh, I'm like, ah, oh, if it's just a fuck up, I can live with it. If like, he gets his shit together, he can. But it's looking like he's not gonna get his shit together.
I honestly think if you're like over the age of 40, you might, might, maybe not, should be a president. Because at that point, you're going to have distance between like the current generation. My man. And you won't understand you realize shit. the restrictions for that then? Oh, I know. I want you to be a citizen for at least 30 years. I'm pretty sure you have to be like a certain age. 25. Like 30. It's... Tw <laughs> Sorry. Swallowed wrong. You okay? Yeah. Is it 25 or 30 years that you have to be a US citizen? I'm pretty sure it's 35. Because I'm pretty sure it's... I think it's... I'm probably wrong with it. I think it's 25 for Congress, 30, 25 for Governor, 30 for Congress, 35 for Senate. Sounds right. I don't know, but I feel like once they reach a certain age, they're just completely away from like current ideals. And like, and like the way current lifestyle is, they're still stuck in like the old mentality. Give me one sec, I, I have something else to say. Person be eligible. Do it. Yep, yeah, 35 years have been a resident for. 14 years. Ah. Oh, no, it's Congress. Uh, you can be a representative in Congress at 25, and a senator has to be 30. What about president? 35. Okay. Yeah, no, but it's like, um, you know, like, where they were talking about like the Bill Gates uh, shit in uh, Congress and stuff, Fitz and all of them were talking about him recently in one of the, in like maybe two or three podcasts ago. Where like these old guys are like, like, can you spy on people with the internet? And like he's trying to explain like there's multiple programs and ways people could maybe run about it. Uh, and then they're like, I take that as a yes. Like they're fucking idiots. And like watching Congress fucking fight like little kids. Here's the thing. Like notice that all of the people that asked those specific questions were like Texas and fucking. Like it's just. Oh my god. The hardcore Republican states. But the really really hard ones. But. I'm all for you being right wing. Like, I don't care. You be, you believe in what you want to believe in, and I completely. But the moment racist shit fine. gets, but gets spit out your mouth. I mean, it's just like you can't be so one sided that you only think that way. Yeah. Because like I'm not conversed with like solely one side i i think a lot of my ideals go right but there's a, a a good portion of them that also go left like i can't i can't agree with just one side and there's supposed to be multiple parties but now we've gotten to the point where it's like it's literally just fucking two yeah it's stupid and i agree it's like i'm and it's I, like I, they're I'm all classified. fucking old geezers even... too that are out of touch I mean, it's like, I'm paying attention to both sides of the fucking race. Like, what's going on? Like, I'm paying att attention to Democrats, and I'm paying attention to Republicans. It's fuck. Well, like, and I'm saying it's on I both ends. Like, they're just old as shit. I don't think people like Hillary should be old. I fucking hate Hillary. I hate Bernie. Can't fucking stand him. But... Bernie is socialist. Yeah, and I fucking strongly disagree with that. I strongly disagree with socialism. But I think socialism is a whole idea to disagree with, but there's certain aspects of it. If blended correctly with U.S. ideals, could work out. But like the problem is, is they don't want to blend. Yeah, it, that's the major problem. Is that what he's campaigning on is pure socialism, and the way he advertises it, it makes it sound good. But then when you sit down and think about it, you're like that's not real good. That's literally taking people's money. It should have like, oh, it's it's like how how they have the thought of, like 
they make it sound like everyone should be on an equal basis. And you're like, fair. And you're, and then you think about it, and then you're like, the way that the goal is to go. Socialism is basically like tea time communism. It's not as extreme, but it's where communism got its fucking inspiration from. It's where communism started. Yeah. They teach that in fucking history. And there's a very fucking thin line between the two. Well, social, uh, socialism it was mostly an ideal, not like a full thing. Like, it was it was originally intended to be mixed. It's yeah. just the way everyone's used it, it just, is they've basically it, been using it like communism. Yeah. It just, like, it picked up and was like, hey, this is now an entire way of running a country. And that's how it's viewed now. You know what I also like about uh, State of Decay is way off topic, but, but you want to know what you know what I like about State of Decay? What? The fact that they gave you three different locations that you could start in, and it's three completely different maps. Yeah, but like the endings are pretty much all the same. Although there are yeah. unique events in each map that do kind of give them an individuality. Yeah, it's just like I, I like the idea of having it so that it's not like hey, man. One sec, I got a call from my manager. Hello. Do what? Yeah, this is Hunter. Come to the store? Yeah, why? Well, what's up? Is it just the programs that crash, or? Okay. All right, I'll be there shortly. Yep, bye. <laughs> um. So apparently all the systems went down at the fucking Dollar Tree, so we might not even be able to open tomorrow. Oh, fuck. And, you know, this new chick, we don't have three managers, so she basically has to work the two days I have off, like, nonstop, to at yeah. least 12-hour shifts. And she just gets really cranky, so, like, this shit happened on top of that, and she's just fucking done. And then, like, we had to deal with that fucking dude calling our... Uh, regional manager and telling him that uh, <clears throat> uh, that we were being assholes and he shouldn't have been kicked out even though he attacked our employees so like yeah it's not been a great day like my two days off I've literally been constantly called by work and I even had to go in for three hours Monday which was supposed to be my first day off Jesus Christ yeah so it, it's kind of sucked I'll be back shortly alright all right, later. If you want to play something here when I get back, let me know. Yeah, I'm going to try to wrap this up because it looks like I'm getting close to the end. I have All right. Three, I have three play parts left on the map, and by the time you get back, I should probably, at the very least, be down to like one. All right, that works. All right, I'll be yeah. back in a bit. Okay, see ya.